All right, we got McFazer, another Ignister. You know, Ignister's looking a little better with its cool firewall lines and not just a rival pass. But this is the Ritual Festival. Uh, so we get to see even more base at, at Ignister. Dan Mari, Don Yoribo at Ignister, Paladin of Storm Dragon, Tie Strike, and Idol Reborn. 40 cards versus opponents, 40, we're going second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 Jet control. Oh, never mind. Blue eyes, white dragon control. Special summon, blue eyes, white dragon pass. It might as well be doing nothing. Hello, little 3000 attack monster. It is the loner. They gave the loner, they gave blue eyes as a loner. Summon the Chi Chi. Special summon the Yara here. Battle phase, tie strike. Okay, give it 3000. Tie strike, attack, banish, deal three. Oh, Deep Eyes, deal 12. Deep Eyes, target a dragon, gain its attack. Main two, we're going to go Hiari here, grabbing the Water Leviathan at Ignister. <laughs> a Chi Chi beats. Oh, there's the Chaos form. Jesus. Chaos Max. Oh, God. Uh, Dan Mari, help. Negate the attack. Oh, my God. Way too, I don't like that. That was too close. Too close for comfort. White stone, add back the blue eyes white dragon. We'll flip idle reborn event step, special summoning the Chi Chi. That's gonna uh, uh, add a level four lower, add Ignister in hand. We're gonna add the Picari here. <laughs> Tie strike off the top. It's okay, we're gonna, we, we would probably would have uh, grabbed it from the Picari anyway. We're gonna go a Chi Chi. Ritual summon, AI's ritual. This is the ritual event, folks. Paladin of Storm Dragon. Denmari, tie strike. 4,000. Tie strike, protect. Deal four. Paladin of Storm Dragon. Put that bad boy back, Denmari, for lethal. <laughs> you cannot defeat my whoosh, whoosh, tie strike. Okay, we've got Zilly Zephyrs. Uh, with the Diviner of the Herald, Manju of the 10,000 Hands, Dark Factory of Mass Production, Swords of Concealing Light and Necrozmere. What are you cooking? 40 cards versus our opponent's 40. Our opponent has no extra deck. I guess it's the ritual deck, so it doesn't really... It's a ritual festival. This is another ritual festival game. Sazj. Illusion of Chaos off the Herald. Well, that is an easy magician souls. Putting back the Illusion of Chaos, now we can do Magician Souls, dump the Illusion of Chaos, special summon it, activate the effect, send two spells, draw two. What are you doing? What? Okay. Grab Ohime. Well, it looks like Mikanko. Ohime, grab Mikanko Water Arabesque. Go Hare. Mikanko Water Arabesque. Hare, grab the fire dance. Summon the Huli. Grab me Kanko Rivalry. Axe of Fools. Fire dance. Battle phase. 15 15. Alright. Yeah, this board's nuts against me, Kanko. Normal summon Manju. Grab ARA. What is the plan here? ARA. <laughs> Seven level ones. Valkyrious effect. Tribute up to two monsters from your hand and or field. And if you do, draw the same cards number of uh, attributed. Cross sheep. Thanks, <laughs> DD. Ritual Sanctuary. Target spells up to um, so that you can special summon back the Cyber Egg Angel. Trigger Cross Sheep here. They're going to Mikanko Rivalry. Equipping the Reflection Rondo. Grabbing the Cross Sheep. Oh, there's Dark Factory Mass Production to add back the left arm and, and right arm. There's the Dynamondo. Dynamondo, target the Cross Sheep. Put it back. Rivalry effect, target a banish, grab back the Axe of Fools, pass turn. Dynamondo, quick effect, tribute, add back the Necroz of Valkyrius. Oh, there's Ohime, grab 
grabbing Heavenly Gate of the Mikanko. What does Mikanko do without a monster on board? Nothing. The answer is nothing. The answer is literally nothing. I love the saying in Indian. Well, Ritual Sanctuary pitching a, the Hymn of Light, adding Necroz Mirror. Ritual Sanctuary targeting, targeting Hymn of Light and the other spell so we can special summon back the diviner that uh, that activates the diviner effect sending the manju from deck to make it a level six that way we can necroz mirror tribute it and the cyber egg angel in hand to make valkyrius normal summon sangin tribute it and sangin sangin add exodia the forbidden one activate the dark factory of mass production <laughs> Rituals? What do you mean, rituals? Exodia! Obliterate! <laughs> oh, I'll show you a ritual, all right. <laughs> XD! Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, we have Chloe in a dual room. This is the MCS. This is an MCS replay from Miss Chloe Astor. She is on Naturia Pearly. Naturia Camellia, Stray Pearly Street, Pearly Happy Memory, and Pearly Delicious Memory, and Naturia Sacred Street versus Alan TCG with uh, Pressured Planet Wraith uh, uh, Sorry, Pressured Planet Wraith Soth, Vanquished Soul, Jiao Long. Cashier, Rise Heart, Ghost Spell, and Maxi. It looks like we're Vanquish Soul Cash. Very interesting decks. Really cool stuff. We're going first. 40 cards versus our opponent's 40. Gotta love to see it. Yeah, Vanquish Soul Engine uh, versus a or Vash Vanquish Soul plays a Cash Engine. That's nice. So uh, we're gonna start off with Happy Memory. We are gonna get Maxied, but we are still going to target our Stray Pearly Street and Special Summon Pearl Lily. We're gonna go Nerturia Sacred Street here because it was set to the graveyard. We can add a Nerturia card. Then we get to go Pearl Lily on Chilling Two. We're gonna go grab my friend Mia Meagle. Now we're gonna go uh, and grab Nerturia Mole Cricket. We'll go my friend Pearly. Activate my friend Pearly. Reveal three. We're probably gonna reveal three Sleepies. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Oh, Sleepy Sleepy Yeep. We got Yeep. That's an interesting. We're going to go Delicious here. Send Special Summon Pearly. Pearly effect. Reveal. Reveal. Nice. We hit a spell. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Thank you so much. Going to grab Delicious Memory. Now we're going to go Pearl Lily. Target. Xyz. Into Plump. Grabbing Delicious. Now we get to go Plump effect. I definitely misplayed with Yeep, but alas, hey, that's fine. The game is about playing. And who can win? If you hit the W, that means most of your actions were correct. All right, we hit the pretty memory off of the other pearly, and I'm gonna go pearly pretty memory. We're gonna attach as well off to uh, off on plump, and then we're gonna go pretty memory. Probably just gain the uh, life points, not special summon. Gonna go X pearly noir here uh, on uh, six mat. Go stray pearly on seven. Sit on our big noir and pass turn. Now we'll go noir effect draw. They're going to activate Planet here. They have a ton of cards because of a uh, Max C. So they're going to special summon Fenrir. Fenrir effect. They're going to go add. They're going to add another Fenrir. Looks like uh, we don't have too much. We're going to start Stake Your Soul. Reveal a monster. Special summon a Vanquish Soul with a different attribute. Special summoning the Vanquish Soul Heavy Borger. Borger. Reveal Mad Love in hand. Uh, the Dark. Draw a card. We get to go Caesar here. Put that guy back. Special summon Caesar Valius. Nice animation. I have not seen Caesar's animation. We're going to reveal Fenrir. Earth, Fire, and Dark. Destroy one other card on the field. So let's see. We're going to pop the Mi Amigo. Then we're going to go Vanquish Soul Jiao Long. Jiao Long Special Summon. Activate the effect. Reveal two fires. Add a Vanquish Soul card for your deck to your hand. Except Jiao Long. We're going to grab Raisin. And then we're going to summon Mad Love. Mad Love uh, add a Vanquish Soul Spell Trap. And then we're going to link it off. There is. There she is. You have to play it. Underworld Goddess, especially uh, uh, with all the Pearlies running around. We are going to trigger Naked Shaker, Sacred Tree and Pearly Street. They're going to go Underworld Goddess. Uh, negate the effects of all face-up monsters our opponent controls. Yep. Now we're going to go to Sacred Tree. Go grab Naturia Blessing. Field spell does get... Does the field spell get negated? I wonder. We're going to go uh, Pearly, uh, Pearl Lily here. Uh, it does get Ash Blossomed. 
It's an interesting game. So now what do we do? We're going to go uh, Soul Pantera. We can kind of play the game. Pantera is going to reveal Fenrir and uh, Raisin to destroy all spell traps in the column. We're going to link off the goddess to make Phoenix. Wow, what a link off. Just to make the link to so we can pop that stray pearly street and break the board. Mole Cricket does get to trigger here, though. But we do have the ghost spell to respond in kind. And now Phoenix is going to pop that pearly street, but it gets it was protected off of the happy memory, so it was actually not a fantastic pop there, unless they wanted to try and trigger. I don't believe, um, let me look at happy memory. Um, it's only the first time, so they'd have to pop it again. But it looks like we can't pop this one, and that is going to be the turn. It's looking like we can kind of do whatever here. We have kind of everything we need, but they do have heavy burger. We're going to go Sleepy Memory in response to Heavy Borger. Two dead shifters in hand. Pitching the Naturia Sacred Tree on one, Pearl Lily on two. Going to go grab my friend Pearly yet again. And grab that Mole Cricket. All in draw so we can avoid a possible draw. We're going to go Mole Cricket here. Special Summon Camellia and the Sunflower. Now we have a Monster to Gate if we need it. We're going to dump the Sacred Tree, Shaker Tree, yet again go Naturia Blessing. Now we get to go Pearl Lily Effect, Target, and Xyz into E Pearly Happiness. Now we're going to activate My Friend Pearly, activate My Friend Pearly, reveal three. Pretty, pretty, and then one last one. Yep, Delicious. We're going to grab, we got the Delicious here. We're going to activate Delicious. They're going to go Magnumut here, targeting the Pearl Lily Engrave. I don't think we really care that much about it. I think they just want a body on board. Yep, so we're going to target the Eperly Happiness. We go Camellia here. And then Synchro. With the Mole Cricket making the Terrier Beast. Now we'll go Mole Cricket, Special Summon itself. Xyz with the level ones to make Princess Sprite. See if we can nail a Spell Trap here. Detach. Ah, they did it to block the attach of the spell. That is, of course, uh, yes. Because of the, uh, it's a when effect, so you can't attach the spell off of the Eperly Happiness. But we get to go Happiness here. And we get to destroy the monster, grab Pretty Memory, target Bestial Magnumut, go Happy Memory, get another attack, attach with Happiness. If you've ever been OTK'd by Pearly uh, like this before, you'll see why. Happiness gets to attack yet again, add another Happy Memory, target that guy, go Happy Memory, attach yet again. Or you can just clear the board like Chloe's doing. And the opponent is at 64, which leaves them at exact, or not exact lethal, because we already attacked with the e Pearly Happiness. So we only have the 2200 in. But we get to go see Naturio Blessing to special summon the Camellia. And then we get to go Blessing again to Synchro. Oh my god. <laughs> what a line for lethal. Holy. Chloe should have fusioned. True! <laughs> That's another win for the testing circle. And remember, this was the same MCS where I wish I was dead won the entire thing. So, shouts out to Chloe and the testing team. Without their help, I don't know if I wish I was dead was able to make it that far. Okay, we have Tali, a.k.a. Uh, Mordrex with the Drytron Delta Altice, Manju of the 10,000 Hands, Where Art Thou, Call By, and Parthian Shot. This is in the festival. This is the Ritual Fest, the Ritual Event. Let's see what we can do going second. 40 cards versus our opponent's 40. Oh, looking like Prediction Princess. Okay, reveal the Prediction Princess, some of the Talos Vandra, and the Candall. Candall at a Ritual spell. We're going to add the Underworld Ritual Prediction, activating that Ritual spell. They're going to Ritual Summon a Prediction Princess Ritual Monster, summoning that Tarot Tray in attack position and passing turn during the end phase. We can special summon a Flip Monster from our Hand or Grave. It's Pot of the Forbidden! God, Pot of the Forbidden is so funny. Underworld Ritual of Prediction uh, during the standby phase. A special summon the Biblio Muse in a standby. And we're going to go Foolish Burial, sending our Thuban Normal Summon Manju. Manju effect. We're going to get Ash Blossomed here, but we do have the Call by the Grave. We are going to Call by it. That is absolutely for sure. 
Oh my god. Well, sometimes you're a gamer. We're gonna call by we're gonna cross out the call by the grave, we're gonna get Ash Blossom on the Manju, and then we are going to go Alpha the Alpha Tribute Delta. It's A-OK, -okay. we can still play the game. We're gonna grab Ben 10. Now we get to go where Arf thou at a level one, we're gonna go grab Zeta. Because we control level one. Now we get to go Zeta, effect tribute the Ben 10, enhance with summon, go grab Mediodonus Drytron. Now we get to trigger the Ben 10 on a new chain, go grab Natasha. Now we're gonna activate that Medionis Drytron, tributing that Zeta, special summoning that Natasha. Now we get to go Natasha effect, target a face up monster, gain some life points. Now we're gonna go Delta effect, tribute the Natasha, special summon itself back, and then go Medionis, uh, reduce the attack of the Thuban, uh, grab back the Medionis Drytron, go Natasha effect, banish, um, target a um, monster on board and take it, I believe. We're gonna flip it up. Now we get to go Natasha. Special summon itself, take it, and that triggers the bottom of the forbidden to pop other monsters. <laughs> Check out the new ruling, dummy. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we get to go Moo Beta here. Now we get to activate the Medionis Drytron. And we're going to detach both from the Moo Beta, special summoning the Draco Nids. And folks, that's well over lethal. <laughs> new ruling! <laughs> Easiest thumbnail of my life. Folks, put Pot of the Forbidden and Natasha on the thumbnail. It's easy clicks. <laughs> Incredible match. Okay, we've got Red Mage uh, in a regular, I believe this is just a regular rank duel. Uh, our resident Magic E Stan, Diviner of the Herald, Awakening of the Possessed, aka the Nefarious uh, Ass Trap, Magic E Ma uh, Mech Musket, Bidos Busta, Magical Mallet, and Maf T. Magic E Maf T, 45 cards are points 41. What are you up to today, Red Mage? I see an Ass Trap in your hand. Well, put it back. Yeah, we just need that. We're gonna put the back the Maf T as well. We're gonna draw two. <sighs> Leotron Tron, a territorial electronic monster that guards its own domain main. Well, start Diviner Send Herald. Herald effect, go grab ARA. And activate that ARA sending probably a normal monster. It's the third Leotron. <laughs> Beto's Buster. Beto's Buster. Beto's Buster. Grab Magic E World. Activate Magic E World. We're going to add a Magic E monster for our deck to your hand, adding that Maft Heal, Maft Heal, extra normal. Extra normal special summon back that Leotron. We got four, three tuners on board. And they're gonna go Math uh, Magic Key World, put back a Leotron. We're gonna link off the Beta's Buster, the Diviner Header for the Cross Sheep. Activate Math T Fuse. Making that Ansiabolus. If you've ever been here before, you know that Ansiabolus just activates uh, to add back that spell. But under the Cross Sheep Link Zone, we get to special summon back a level four lower monster. Oh, when did you get there? And there's the ass trap, Awakening of the Possessed, special summon back Leotron. G Golem stubborn men here. Awakening of the Possessed, add unpossessed. Xyz here for Spring Ants Merrymaker. Oh my god. Sending Sargus, Sargus effect, target Spring Ants, Xyz, and we're gonna make that champion Sargus. Hoorah. Hoorah, soldier, champion Sargus, going to add ourselves Tally-Ho Spring Ants. For tally activate tally, tally ho Spring Ants. We're going to detach three, special summoning three from deck. We're going to add the Branga. One. Sargus, two. Merrymaker, three. Sargus effect. Put back the Magic Key World to hand. Meh, IP. These men sure are stubborn. Making G Golem Crystal Heart with the IP. Crystal Heart targets Stubborn Men here, Special Summon back. That's going to activate the effect of Stubborn Men here to Special Summon an Earth Monster from Grave. Summoning the Awakening Possessed yet again to negated Link off. Invalid Dolmen. Now we're going to go Branga. Branga, Branga, Branga. Grabbing Spring Ant's Kit. Dolmen, discard a Cybers, draw a card, and pass turn. What a fun board. Versus Pearly. Well, we'll go Unpossessed. Unpossessed here, and then go Pearly. I think we're just activating Unpossessed. Kitty hits the Yeep, which is not the worst card to hit. Activating Pretty Memory here, special summoning Pearl Lily. Pearl Lily, go and grab my amigo, mi amigo. Activate mi amigo, mi amigo effect. We're gonna go Sargus here. 
to detach an Xyz, uh, detach a material from an Xyz to pop a card on the field, face up card. Then we're gonna pop the Pearl Lily with the Sargus. Gonna activate Happy Memory, targeting the Pearly. Gonna uh, summon another Pearly, hoping to hit something off the top. Snow. We hit the Happy Memory, pretty good. Hit a spell still. And then we're gonna activate Happy Memory, targeting. We're gonna go summon the last Kitty Cat from deck. One Snow, two evenly matched, three Brow. That's with Veroni. Oh my God, she's back. Well, now we're gonna go Yeep here, targeting three Pearlies in deck, shuffle them all back. Battle phase, walking over the invalid Dolman. Unpossessed here, getting to set. <laughs> Lina! <laughs> Summoning, but grabbing the Beto's Buster, we are gonna Math T here, tributing the kit in hand to make the Beto's Buster. Math T is a fusion and a ritual spell. We're gonna go Musket. They're going to go Sleepy Memory. The next battle or effect damage you take this turn will become zero. That's okay. We have plenty of damage. We just link off. We hit with the line of first. Pentastag. Extra normal after the Math T. This is way over lethal. Summoning the Leo Dog or Leo Tron. Making Crystal Heart yet again. Crystal Heart summoning back the Dolmen. I'm gonna Dolmen you. You are getting Dolmen whether you like it or not. And Red Mage is not is not a dumb player. Red Mage is very good at the game and gets over for well over lethal. Oh my god. <laughs> Unpossessed to summon Lina to grab. Goddess is so good.